Hey guys, welcome back to where am I carrying this thing like it's my baby? But uh, yeah, welcome back to Medlin's Avenue. If this is your first time at Welcome, my name is Medlin. If you're new, then hit that subscribe button because you clicked on this video for a reason. So you're basically gonna stay. And also, like I have a lot of nice stuff for yes, like see. Um, yeah, <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I don't know why my phone keeps on interrupting me, but anyways, I'm holding this really, really huge bag here, which is actually worth eleven pounds because I weighed it uh, when I was bringing it back to Nigeria. Um, and this basically just has all my makeup things inside, and that is what this video is about: me showing you what is inside my makeup bag. Okay, so guys, I'm going to start with brushes. I got a brush set from Morphe brushes. I don't know if you guys know that. I think Morphe is a very popular brand. But I just have like a lot of my brushes in here. The things that like were not part of the set, I'm just going to bring them out and show them to you guys. I have my Maybelline Brow um, Volumizer. Um, I just put this on my brow after I have sprayed like my face the first time and I just want to add my highlight and my blush just to make sure that like my brow is in good position and it looks just cool and nice. I have here Fenty Beauty. This is the Matte Mousseau Plush Matte Lipstick in Clap Back and this is just a really nice dark blue. I got this for the color series. Um, out of all the brands that I checked, um, Fenty Beauty was the one that just had that blue that I was looking for. I have a sharpener for, you know, either my uh, lip liner or my brow pencil. But the brow pencil that I have, it's not like a pencil, it's just like, well, it is a brow pencil, but it's not something that I have to sharpen. And this is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I have my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. I think Fawn is like every single person shade. Like it's just so, so versatile. You can use it on a really dark person. You can use it on a really light person and it would still actually come out nice. But I recently stopped using Fawn and I started using Maybelline. I decided to try it out because I also use Maybelline foundation and we're going to get into that later. I don't know how much this brush palette was, but I will uh, put it up on the screen for you guys to see now um, and that's the same thing I'm going to do with all the different products hopefully it works out well and it comes out nice but yeah so we're done with brushes and I'm going to move into foundation and concealer and all that good stuff so I'm going to start with foundation um, I use Maybelline Fit Me I previously used MAC uh, cosmetics foundation but I think I changed to Maybelline when I started uni I think this was 2017 um, but yeah, I use Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 360, which is the Mocha shade. Um, previously, I would use 370, which was really, like, really, really dark. It was making me look darker than my actual skin. Um, so I just tried 360, which was just a shade above from 370. And I use 370 to do my contour, so that's, like, how dark it was. Um, but I don't use 370 to do my contour anymore. I don't use liquid for my contour. I only use liquid for my concealer, which is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 45. This is the tan shade. Um, and then with my foundations, I have either the matte and poreless or the dewy and smooth. I feel like dewy and smooth, you would only use it on like skin that is really dry so that it can just give it that nice moisturized look. While matte and poreless, for those that have oily skin and you need like your foundation to be matte and just to stay matte, I would suggest that you use that. Now for me personally, I have oily skin, but I really wanted to see and try out the, you know, dewy and smooth just to see how it would feel. And guys, it feels so, so good. But because my skin is already oily, I kind of have to not use too much of it. And that's something good about Maybelline foundation. Um, I don't have to use too much of it for it to give me that coverage that I need. So I would really, really suggest that you try out um, Maybelline foundation and also the concealer. Guys, the concealer is amazing. Like it is so creamy, it is so easy to blend out and it just, I love it so much. I don't know what else to say, but I just really, really like it. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder is in the same shade 360 that I use on my foundation. I use this to make it look matte. And then I use the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder to set my concealer and also like my forehead and any other place that I put my concealer or any other place on my face that really attracts a lot of oil. That's what I use it for. 
So I'm going into blushes, highlighters and contours. Um, I'm going to start with this sleek contour kit. Um, this consists of highlighter and um, contour. I really, really use the highlighter, but the contour is amazing. And I just got this from my mom. Like I just took it because she wasn't using it, so I took it. This Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. Guys, this is amazing. I don't know if you guys would be able to see it, but it is so, so good. I actually saw an ad of this on TV and I was like, okay, let me try it out. And then once I started using it, I was like, okay, this is the only highlight I'm going to use for the rest of my life. It is so, so good. And it actually gives you that metallic shine. That and this Fenty Beauty Diamond Ballout um, highlighter. Guys, this highlighter is amazing. The only difference between um, Maybelline and this is just in the color. Maybelline gives you like a gold metallic finish while Fenty Beauty this gives you a silver metallic finish which is also good as well. Let me swatch something up guys. You can even see from here it is a lot. Like it is really really nice. Can you see that? It is so good. I don't know if you guys know Juvia Space. I think Juvia Space is also a very popular brand. I got the Saharan blush volume 1 and volume 2. I feel like the color of the cover kind of depicts like what you would get on the inside. So you have some browns, really dark purple, um, pinks, orange, and they also give you like some highlighters as well. Zoba and Shola. I think I used this in one of my makeup videos. Um, I think I used this for the month of June. And then the blush volume one gives you more darker tones like in terms of highlights, um, also blush as well and gives you this really nice orange and also this really nice pink. I feel like the orange and pink are very 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 pigmented. This Morphe, this is called the High Impact Highlighter Palette. Oh, guys, this palette is beautiful. It has different shades. This ultraviolet is what I have on right now. Um, this is called Galactic Comet Midor My Rage Big Bang Trans and Aurora. I think I'm just trying to give you things that are out of this world, basically things in another galaxy and I really really love each and every one of them. But the Big Bang is definitely my favorite because it really has that nice gold finish that it's like once you're under the sun like you're literally glowing. So now we're going to go into lipsticks, lip paints, um, lip liners and all that good stuff. I had a bunch of Fenty Beauty lip paints. I got Undefeated, I got Uncuffed, I got Unveil which is a nice brown. Unveil and Uncuffed were one of the first ones that I got. And I also got the red one, I've forgotten the name, um, Unlocked and unattached these are just two nice pink shades and i tried unlocked unlocked looked so amazing i was very very scared because it looked like a really really dark dark pink and i just didn't know if it was going to fit me but guys these have never ever failed me and i would a hundred percent suggest that you get some of these i also have some lipsticks here um, I got this is from MAC and it's uh, the MAC X Ariana Grande um, collab it's what I'm wearing right now and I really really love it so much it's just that really nice dark purple like that's really really close to black some lipsticks here from Estee Lauder this I think is a really nice red shade I have not tried it out yet. Um, hopefully, I will try it out very, very soon. The Pure Color Envy in the shade 340. This is a really nice light pink shade. It's in the color 380, which is called Complex. Um, this is oh intense nude, so it's kind of like a brown. Um, and I have not tried these yet, but I'm hoping to try them very, very soon with some of the looks that I create. Trust me. If Fancy Beauty is dropping a body lava, I'm going to get it. This is the body lava in the shade Brown Sugar. I have not tried this yet, but guys, I cannot wait to actually try this. I literally thought, like, I brought back 
a lot of swimsuits. I was like, okay, girl, so you're basically just going to wear this to as many places as you can and have fun and put on the body lava and take your nice pictures, guys. I literally envisioned myself as I was sleeping, but I came back and I had work almost every single day and I just did not have time. And then I have this Kylie cosmetic, I think it's called Black Knight. Oh, sorry, Dead of the Night lipstick. And it also came with the lip liner as well, but I can't find the lip liner. I do not know why. Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme uh, Mascara. Ever since my auntie just got me Estee Lauder, I just started using it so much. Um, but yeah, these are the two mascaras I have. It's either Maybelline or Estee Lauder. And now we're going to go into the last segment, um, which is eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to start with the really small ones. So the Estee Lauder um, pack came with some eyeshadow palettes as well. This is the Sculpting Blush slash Blush Sculptant. So it's for your eye and your cheek. This is basically an eyeshadow slash blush palette. Okay, this is also an eye and cheek palette. So I guess all the palettes are for your eyes and your cheeks. This is just a nude palette, which is really, really nice. I have used this before. I used this for May's makeup look. It was really, really nice and versatile in terms of like the nude colors that they had. The Glow palette. Um, let's see what's inside this. So it has some really nice, shiny colors. Okay, so I got this Huda Beauty palette. It's Sapphire Obsessions. Um, I got this for blue because I really didn't have any blue palettes and this is what it looks like on the inside. I used this for July's makeup look. I really, really love every single shade on here. This yellow shade is actually what I have under my eye right now. But yeah, this is the Huda Beauty. Then I have some nice Maybelline eyeshadow palette. This is the new bronzy palette and this is a really nice pink palette. I really really like both of them. I have used both of them before. This were like my first ever eyeshadow palettes that I had before I started getting into Morphe and all the good stuff. So Maybelline has actually been around for me for a while. Then I got this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette and I got this mostly because of the purple that they had inside and how they also have this really like they basically mix purple and also red to get some really nice red tones you have purple as well you have um can you tweet? mention yeah maroon just some nice shiny colors i don't know if you guys know shamaya but if you live in lagos or if you're based in nigeria shamaya is a makeup artist and she also has a makeup brand i attended her free makeup class i think she's doing it to the end of the year i'm not 100 percent sure but i learned how to fix my lashes from her class so yeah thanks shamaya for that i got this um eyeshadow palette which has like a variety of colors, some purple, pinks, orange, like that orange is actually the color that stood out to me and I was like, I have to get it. And they're actually very, very pigmented. I used this Shamaya palette in the makeup video for August. I used the purple shadows. It's really, really nice. I would suggest that you get um, some items from Shamaya. So Juvia's Place, I got two eyeshadow palettes. Um, these are just some really nice greens and orange shades. These are basically like nudish slash greenish shade and one thing that i really like about juvia and morphe is that their eyeshadows anything it's very very pigmented zulu um eyeshadow palette it has this really nice yellow that that was what caught my attention to be honest and the orange as well and then i have two morphe palettes this is my best morphe palette to date and this is the artistry palette what i think they did with this palette was that why is it open okay they basically had like, if you can see, this is orange, these are greens, these are browns, these are pinks, and this black, I love this black so much because it's mixed with a little bit of pink, this is jet black, this are purple, so they gave me like a variety of colors and they also gave me shiny, like I guess I would call it pressed pigments as well, and I love it so, so much. This is the palette in 35P, it's basically just a shade of purples so it have different purple shades and it also gets really really dark in this section and you have a little bit of brown as well so i like how they like kind of came out with the different purple shades and also shades that you can match together that would give you purple okay so we have reached the end of the video thank you guys so so much for sticking with me if you did stick with me all the way to the end i was actually very hesitant to do this because i'm like 
who would want to actually see what's in my makeup bag? Like, I'm not Jackie Aino or like any one of these big makeup artists, but a friend of mine suggested that I do it because I started doing makeup a lot, so it's like, let's see the products that you're using. And I really do hope that these products help you out. I do hope that I gave enough information about these products as well. I would do my best to try and link up these, all these items. I said I would do my best, guys. I'm not sure if I'll be 100% with that. But I'll do my best to link up the items in the description box below. So do check the description box after watching this video to see the different links to all these items. I thank you guys so, so much for sticking with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Let me know which products you guys are using and you guys think I should try out um, for someone that has oily skin or someone who likes really, really pigmented products. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.